Here's a quick tutorial on showing and hiding guides in InDesign. So if we show our rulers by pressing Command or Control R, we can pull out guides. Now we can pull out a guide onto the page or a document-wide guide. You can see how it cuts off at the page versus showing all the way across. Now that just depends on if you drag it onto the page or drag it out here. It's going to put a guide across. You can see that guide there. You can drag as many of these guides out here as we would like. But sometimes our work gets a little messy and we want to see it in a cleaner way. There's two things you could do. The first one is just to hide the guides. That includes all the guides that show us the margins, the columns, etc. That's command or control semicolon, just like that. So we can show and hide guides very easily. That's in the view drop down, down to uh, grids and guides, and then hide guides. We can also do a lot more things with our guides here. We can lock them column guides, snap to guides, use smart guides. So everything guides related is right here. You can delete all the guides on your spread very quickly. And those guides would be the ones you pull out from the rulers. That's not your columns and margins and such. Now the other thing we can do is this just hides the guides, but it doesn't preview the document necessarily. That is easy with the W key. So there's a preview mode. It will remove any of the assets that we have outside of our document and crop everything to our page while also removing the guides. So just pressing the W key goes between the preview mode. You can actually see that represented over here in your tool panel. There's a normal mode and a preview mode. And we can just press the W key and it goes between those two. We can also click them to go between those two. And so that's two different ways that you can hide guides and show guides here in Adobe InDesign.